Hey everyone, my name is Milo, welcome back to my channel. I just had the most incredible stroke of luck. I was streaming on Twitch, I was, I'm doing two streams today, I'll be going back on in about an hour's time. Um, go follow my Twitch, watch my Twitch streams. Um, Thatch Plays, that's my Twitch. Anyway, um, so I was literally streaming and just as I ended my stream to go have some lunch, my Shein package arrived. I've been waiting for this. I'm excited for this. Let's open this bad boy and have a look-see at what I've got. Um, I'm not going to promise a try-on haul, but if I can be bothered, then I'll do it. So the first thing is a top of some description. Let's see. Ooh, oh, that's really soft. Oh, okay. How? Oh, I like, it's a bodysuit. Oh, it's so soft. That's so soft. Uh, so there's this really cute bodysuit. It's like rainbow kind of, not necessarily tie-dye. Is that tie-dye? It's kind of tie-dye. And it just says babe across the front. Rainbow because it's Pride Month. And it's just got little, they're not even spaghetti straps. They are literally strings. But that's the kind of shape of it. That is really cute. I think it's a me. I honestly thought I would feel so self-conscious in this because there's hardly anything there. But it's the complete opposite. I love this bodysuit. Oh my god. Like, so here's what the back looks like. Uh, where it kind of like, it comes up like that. Which I quite like, actually. I think it's quite flattering. I like the colours, of course. It's rainbow. It's really soft. It feels really nice. And, like, it fits perfectly. Next, here it is in another bag. This is going to be another top, isn't it? Of some description yes it is this is another little halter neck i've been loving my little halter neck tops lately when i say little this one is little is this a small oh no this is a medium okay and it's got the little is this called like a, is it a key keyhole front is that what they're called oh and you could like scrunch like ruche them up okay so these is like fully adjustable on the actual uh like tie here I don't really know how I feel about this one. It's very short. I mean, I don't really know if I feel 100% about this. I think I kind of fixed that a little bit there just by pulling it down a bit. The keyhole, cute. You know, this 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 is something really new for me, so I don't really know. So I'll show you the back. Looks like that. I don't know. I mean, the back on these things always look dodgy. <laughs> I mean, it fits. If it's really hot, then yeah, it'll probably be fine. I'd probably be better with a strapless bra maybe than this one. It'll probably look a bit better. But yeah, uh, this is also a medium. It says it here as a little sticker on the bag. You may notice uh, my favourite colour is green, if anyone didn't know. Uh, I think this haul is really going to show you that. So then I got a little green vest top. It's just got some ruching in the front. Really is little. I'm loving the cropped like thing though. They really go with my high waisted shorts and everything. So, and that's also a okay. medium. I am pleasantly surprised by this top. Like very pleasantly surprised. It fits. It's like a nice V. The ruching is actually really. Um, flattering i was very because when i first felt it it felt like it was quite gonna be quite loose it's not it fits perfectly nothing's like moving or anything like it fits well everything's covered i don't feel at risk of anything popping out i mean the back ow i knelt on something the back i assume it looks fine i can't see obviously it's the back but yeah i feel yep yeah, don't feel self-conscious in this at all feel really comfy love it it fits it's not too tight or anything next is also a medium so we'll see how ah oh, this one's black and it's just another little uh this one's ribbed it's just a little black kind of cami vest top. 10 out of 10 but <laughs> there's not much to say about this there's not really many ways this one could have really gone wrong i mean the lace is really flattering like the shaping of it you know there's a little bit of cleave but not too much cleave everything's covered i don't feel like i have to be sitting there tugging at this all the time it's just nice comfortable nothing's moving nothing's on show it's really like seamlessly comfortable the straps aren't too tight the straps aren't falling around like this top is 
perfect and it'll be really good just to like put on under other things or just to wear as a top on its own so yeah this is 10 out of 10 uh, then here ah uh, this is the stuff i've been waiting for so this is from the sheen swim collection i have two of them actually i'll do them both together because they're both the same color wait they sent me the same one twice are they both the same color i can't remember but i got two pairs of bikini bottoms because i will be going to the beach later this summer and i thought it was about time that i got some bikini bottoms that hopefully fit me we'll see these are a large yeah i was trying to be safe with these so i got a large okay these are cute so and it's got the um sticker in so you know it's like fresh and protect and all that lot so they're just like i think they're slightly high-waisted as well but i just like how they have the little cutouts on the side and this one oh this one's just high oh this one's really high-waisted and it's got ruching along the front of it that kind of this kind of helps this effect where it's quite big when you have all the material helps to hide any fat you have so i quite like that style that it's normally quite it looks terrible when you just hold it up but when it's actually on it's normally quite complimentary you know cool next is a, another little crop top vest top thing this one's a dinosaur one obviously because this is me we're talking about and it's just oh that's tiny oh that's tiny i did not have the highest of hopes for this one i mean it fits in a manner of speaking um it's just it just feels really small i mean i'm not at risk nothing's coming out it's not lifting up it's not falling down the straps are i'm more aware of them than i was on the bodysuit which had the same kind of piping straps uh everything is covered so i mean you know oh crack it's fine i just don't know if it's one that i'd necessarily wear out or more just one that i wear you know at home because it's too hot you know next this one is a large. Why did I get a large? Maybe it was on sale and it was the only one they had. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. What is that? Oh, you meant to tie a knot in it. Oh, okay. I was so confused. So it's just this, it's just got, it's just stripy okay, with a cherry. This top, cute, very cute, much like I tucked the little tail kind of just up in it because it i think it looks cuter like that i like this it's very cute it's a little bit low just it's just it's a little bit low cut for my personal comfort levels but no it fits the cherry is cute the black and the white stripes are just classic it's a very flattering neckline it's just a bit of a low neckline but then i think it's a size too big so that is fine i prefer it if it was like here but we'll just you know next oh this is is it paisley is that what that print's called this is a size medium paisley print yeah it's again that's that really soft material oh okay it's just a halter neck like ones that i already have basically it's just yeah that paisley kind of like bandana material this gives me bandana vibes uh but it's just yeah just a tie up halter neck nothing fancy oh it's got like it's quite elasticated around the back oh that's good because my other one isn't so it falls down all the time out of 10. i had high hopes for this one just so i know it's a style that i'm comfortable in and that i think suits me uh this is of course you know the paisley oh i love it the print is really cute the fit perfect and i love the fact that it's elasticated around the top of the back here so it's not like falling down constantly I love this top. I feel really comfortable in this top. The cleave is all covered, but you still look a-okay, like, fitty. Aha! I don't know how I feel about this. I think this is a medium. It says spicy. I don't really know how I feel about this cut. I don't know if it will suit me or if it will look good. We'll see once I try it on and whether I'll feel comfortable in it, but it's ribbed, so it's nice and stretchy. But we'll, we'll see whether I think this style of top actually compliments me or not but it's just a bright green which is nothing new for oh me God. now this one i was anxious to try on because it's not a style i've ever worn before i think i'm in love 
it just feels really nice. I think I found a new style that I really, really like. Uh, I just love this top. Like, it's not too short. It's not too, like, long. It's not an awkward length. Um, yeah, I love it. It's really flattering. I love this top. I don't want to take it off, but I have two more tops to try on. Ugh, this is a 10 out of 10. Just 10 out of 10. It's just a little black vest top again, but it's got some little dinosaurs on it because I love dinosaurs. This one, yeah, it's literally just, it's just a little vesty top. There's nothing really to say about it. This is like a seven or a six. It's a bit loose and weird here. Like the fabric just doesn't know what it's doing. So it's kind of just hanging really weirdly at the front. But it fits, like the rest of the top fits fine, nothing's hanging out of them, there's just this weird looseness at the front here. Oh, that's quite, oh, you can move the string, so I guess you're meant to like pull that together in the front maybe, I was going to say that looks quite square, but yeah, it'll go like that. Um, it's just a little white one, I'd probably have to wear a white bra because it was quite see-through just in the packet, oh no. Oh no, you can't. Okay, you can't actually see through it. I, I take it back. And it's just got some cute little like moons and suns and stuff on it. This one's definitely a question mark out of 10. On the one hand, it's cute. It fits, technically. I don't really know how I feel about this thing yet. Fits in, you know, manners of the word, but I just don't know how comfortable I'm feeling it. I mean, it's fine. Um, I don't know. I'm just a little bit reserved about it. So I got two belts because I love wearing belts. However, mine aren't really aesthetically pleasing. The first one is a ri uh, rainbow one. And let's open it so I can show you guys. It's one of these ones where um, it's just a bit of fabric and it has the kind of the uh, clip on it on the front. So you just like... Yeah, and then you have the ex excess material going all over the place. But it's one of these, like... <sighs> How the flipping heck do we... Do you just have to pull it? How? Do you just... <gasps> it's one of these ones where you then have to, like... Feed it through. Like that. And then you... Do that. And it clips... Oh, oh, uh, yeah, so this one has two different chain links on it and it also has like a key ring bit. So I thought, so because the key ring bit will then go out the front, and I thought to hang on to the key ring bit, I would get this cute rainbow. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. Oh my god. I thought I would get this rainbow striped kind of like, I think it's a wristband for your keys kind of thing. But to clip that on to the key ring on gay bracelets i mean i got some gay bracelets the other day as well so i'm now collecting them i like these cute little rope kind of bracelet style things this one is just a it's kind of almost it's like a watch strap uh but it's just like the gay stripe again the little rainbow and it has things in it it's just a rope bracelet that you do up like that so it's just a yeah that's quite cute uh, other ones in here, these are the kind of more pulley style ones, so there's this cute one, uh, which is like all kinds of like rainbow things, and it's got a little clay rainbow on it, very cute. And then there's this black one, which I love, that has the kind of, these knots on it, very cute. Um, let's go to some more beauty things, so I got these nail stickers I've always wanted to use, uh, nail stickers these ones are of course a gay rainbow theme i've always wanted to do them but have never done them before and you just stick them on your nail and then cut them and file them down to size so it has like the design on it and then you just put like your um top coat over the top and that's it so i'm gonna do some of them uh i've got a new makeup sponge although i didn't need to because i then got some in primark the other day i didn't need to do that because i already got one here Oh well, well now I have loads of makeup sponges. We'll see what one I think works best. Uh, in a different strain, I got some fidget toys. So if you guys didn't know, I haven't actually ticked throughout this whole video so far. So I guess that's a bonus for me. 
But if you guys didn't know, I have suspected Tourette's. And I find that fidgeting with little things kind of helps to calm my tics when they get really bad. So this one is uh, just a little like popper, purple and green, my two favourite colours. Like that, just a little toy I can play with. But it's on a carabiner so I could clip it onto my lanyard for when I go out and about. So as I'm like walking around Tesco's, instead of being really annoying to everyone else around me, ticking, screaming and all that lot. I could have a little thing to try and hopefully calm me down. So that's that, and it's like plastic. And then these bits are rubber, of course, because they pop. And then I got a big one. I got a rainbow pop, like popper disc. Um, this is more for, you know, when I'm at home, when I'm just sitting doing nothing, trying to fiddle, trying to concentrate. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 that's so satisfying. And it feels quite nice. I'm very weird because my OCD, I'm quite weird with rubber things, but this actually feels quite nice. So, yeah, props to them for that. And then last but not least, I got two new phone cases. Not that I need any, but I got more gay ones. Not that I need any. Uh, the first one is this one, which, so I have an iPhone 11. So the first one is this one, which is just a, let me just take this bit out. Is a clear um, case. This is not an iPhone 11 case. This is a 12. It's quite square. No, it says 11. That's quite square for an 11 on the edge. Oh well, we'll see. I think this is a 12 case, but, but we'll go with it. Anyway, it says be proud, be brave, be strong, don't be afraid. Together we can do this. And it's just a little gay flag on um, a clear kind of, is it silic not silicone, but like, you know, the flexi bit. And it's even got uh, protection over the camera bit because a lot of them just have the hole. So I'm glad there's protection there. And of course, the mint colour of my phone will shine on through that gap. Get off packaging. And the final thing is this other phone case, which I'm kind of already in love with. Um, here it is. It is a black... Uh, see, this is definitely an 11 because it's curly or curved on the edges. Anyway, it is a black case and it has the pride flag on the back says be loved and then it has this bit which has a little clip on it and then a little strap that you can pull out for when you're holding your phone so you don't like drop it and stuff quite good i quite like that oh it's really like soft as well like the strap so yeah that's quite cute much love for that and yeah, and again, it has the bit that actually goes over the camera area. So that is all good. So yeah, whether I did a try on bit or not, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. <sighs> and I'll see you guys at some point in the future. Check out my Twitch because I've started streaming again. Uh, it is Thatch Plays. I have a second channel dedicated purely to Sims called Thatch Plays. If you guys want to go and subscribe to that and watch all those videos, uh, I think there's only one up there at the moment. But yeah, I've been building. So yeah, um, more content will be coming soon. I know I made a video about my ticks. I will at some point when I know what's going on properly talk about my whole university scenario because um, there's been some changes. But I don't want to update you guys with like false information. So I'm just going to wait until, you know, I know what's going on properly. And then I'll make a video on it. Uh, but thank you all for watching. I hope to see you at some point in the future. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. I haven't done so already. Please, it is free and it would raise my self-esteem. Happy Pride to all of you lot. All of the socials are linked down below, including my TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok, please. And yeah, that's it. Cool. I need to go have some lunch so that I can get back on stream in half an hour. Sick.